Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker and today we are painting a crappie pattern. Now I actually painted this video last week, went to edit it, and the audio was garbage. My microphone was like halfway plugged in, whatever the deal was. So we are repainting it today. And since I didn't plan on adding this pattern to my website and I don't need two of these, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with it. So make sure you stick around until the end to figure out how to win the giveaway. No need to waste any more time talking. Let's go ahead and paint this bait. Okie doke, here is the bait that we're going to be using. It's another one of those little four inch bluegill blanks. And I'm going to have this bait be transparent, so we're not gonna do any sort of base coat of white or anything like that. We're just gonna jump right on into doing our first color, which is this Wicked Silver. I think I mentioned this in my last video that I always water it down a little bit whenever I put it in my airbrush. Just because it's a pearlized color, it tends to clog my brush. But this is the first color that we're going to be doing. I'm gonna give the whole bait a nice base coat in that, and I'll probably do a couple passes. I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer. Then we're gonna do a second coat. Okay, we got it dried nice and good with the hair dryer. And we're gonna move on to our first stencil pattern, which is going to be this one. Hopefully you guys can see it's kind of a nice little zigzaggy pattern. Now this is not gonna show up the best or you're not gonna see that pattern perfectly on there. Uh, but I still want the green to be broke up over top of the silver rather than just being silver into a green. I'm also only going to be spraying till about halfway down, maybe close to three quarters of the way down the side of the bakes. I want to go silver into green. The green I'm using is the Createx Pearlized Green or Pearl Lime. And I'm going to do a couple passes uh, at this just to make sure we do get some good green in there. And I'm gonna do another quick pass at it. That probably is not showing up the greatest for you all on camera, uh, but I will get some nice close-up shots of it later after the clear coat and you'll be able to see some of the zigzags. I think on stuff like that it's nice just because it breaks it up. So it's not the solid green, but it's still pearl, so it kind of matches the silver. Makes everything kind of go together nicely. Next step is our next stencil pattern, which I believe this was my very first how-to YouTube video. Uh, for lure painting, I use this pattern. This is a ribbon I got from the craft store. Now I've been considering putting together like a Baker Builds stencil package, call it the Baker Builds care package or something like that. So if that is something you all are interested in, please let me know. I can get that put together. And then of course I'd have videos that go along with it. Uh, but I've been thinking about doing that. I think that would be kind of cool. Then you guys can have the same stencils that I have if you so desire. Next color that we're going to be doing is this ink and it's the olive green deep. Make sure if you do use the ink that it's got the uh, little picture of the airbrush or it says it's good to use with an airbrush. And what I'm going to do is cover pretty well everything in the screen. Now the ink is a really thin color so I do real light passes and hit it with the hair dryer. Uh, so I'm going to bring this ink, I'm going to hopefully fade it lightly into the silver down here. I don't want it to be solid green down here, I want it to kind of fade into a solid green up here. Uh, I say that, I don't always nail that right on like I hope to, but that's the goal, fade in from the green into a solid green. And again, doing really light passes with the ink because it's very thin. Okay, with the stencil pattern still on, we're going to be spraying some pearlized black. Now, I think I did this in the video, other video that I used this pattern in, uh, that I used, I'm sorry, the stencil pattern in. So if we take our airbrush and we spray it at an angle, it's going to only put black 
on the back side of the stencil pattern, kind of like overspray. So as long as you hold it at an angle, each individual little squir uh, squirrel, each little individual circle or the shape will fade from black to dark green. Now I want the black to be on the front side so it's darker up the front and fades to the green. It's very subtle and most of the time people probably won't notice it but I think it looks nice. So I'm gonna be spraying from the back to the front that way it'll be darker on the front half. So I'm gonna keep it as much of an angle as I can. Again spraying the pearlized black and I'm gonna bring the black uh, not any further down than midway. That way we have light green into the dark green and then up to where it gets darker towards the back. Now when you're doing this method with two colors that are dark, it's really not gonna show up very well. Maybe I'll do another video where we use like a blue with a really light yellow or something like that. I don't know what the colors would be, but something where you can really see the difference. I got that done, I'm gonna hit it with the hair dryer, and then while the black is still loaded up in the airbrush, we're gonna darken up around the eyes a little bit and the back as always, and this bait is almost done. Yep, that looks uh, pretty juicy to me. It looks like one side I did pretty good, keeping it at an angle where you can see the black and the green, and the other side not so much, but that's all right, I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, still spraying the pearlized black. Let's go ahead and darken this bait up a little bit. I also like to try to keep the bait straight whenever I'm spraying on the back. That way it's even all the way. And that's still not uh, perfectly straight. There we go. Close enough. And going to darken up that tail a little bit too. Here are the eyes I'm going to be using. I actually picked these up at Bass Pro a long time ago. I haven't used them on too many baits, but the baits I do use them on, I always think they look pretty cool. They kind of turn from green to silver, which will go perfect with this paint pattern. So I'm gonna put in my little dab of super glue like I do to make sure the eye doesn't go nowhere. And then we're gonna put in the eye, and kind of hold it into place until that glue sets up good. And then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, well this bait is ready for clear coat, so I'm gonna get that done. We'll come back, take a look at her when she's all clear coated up. Bait is done and ready for some action. Uh, like I'd mentioned way earlier, it's kind of hard to see the green or at least the pattern from the green, but the green is there. I think it does look nice being broke up rather than just being a solid green. If you guys would like to enter to win, make sure you're subscribed, comment below what type of video you would like to see or lure pattern, and then uh, you're entered to win. I will announce the winner in the next video I post. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will catch you later.